This is Mr. 614 in the building, C. Hill, Midwest finest, Black college finest, HBCU grad, business major. This is Mr. 614, C. Hill in the building. Check me out on IG, Charlie Hill 614. That's Charlie Hill 614. Mr. 614 in the building. Check out our show, When Men Talk, the show. When men talk the show, you might just want to listen. There you go. There you go. What's going on, everybody? JL here. I'm the Miami Jamaican in the house. Yo, I'm here for you. My, my IG personal is producer underscore JL. When men talk the show, you can catch us on uh, IG. When men talk the show. I think I'm the most liberal of the guys on here. So you just call me the liberal. Mm. Kids, check us out. When men talk, mm, you might want to listen. What's good? It's your boy Sunday, last name Black. ATL stand up. I'm here to give it to you straight. No chaser. Right here, live and direct. I got them cryptos on deck. Believe that. So, man of God right here, I'm going to try and let it shine through my voice and my talk and my conversation. I promise to give it to you straight. No chaser. All day, every day. Last name Black, baby. Yo, it's Zoran. Z for those who are in deep with me. ATL native, baby. Mm. Woo. UGA grad, Black Godfather mentality, create an opportunity for youth, communities, and all who want to be great and love God. Let's get it. When men talk, you might just want to listen. Yo, everybody, we are back again for another fun maybe intense, maybe drama-filled conversation, because when men talk, you might just want to listen. The long-ending debate between shacking up and marriage have and will always plague humanity, especially if you're just testing the waters or if you're searching for something more intimate, long-term, and meaningful. The ramifications are endless. (laughs) Sex before marriage, sex with benefits, Hooking up roommates, how do you divide the two? Life partner or marriage? Mm. Yo, the hip hop prophet, <laughs> prophet Andre 3000 said, forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. <laughs> <laughs> and the drunk uncle once said, life is a trick and then you marry one. Ooh, now that can go for male or female. Ooh, wait. <laughs> And then Proverbs tells us, he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to start it like that, fellas. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Yo, okay. So, all right, let's, let's, do a, let's do a tally here. Those who are married, raise the hand. Those who were married raised their hand. Those who've been ma- engaged three times and never been married raised their hand. <laughs> so we all gonna have a perspective on this for real. <laughs> for real, for real, for real. Now, okay, I'm gonna ask another question. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all chime in. Here's a question. For those who are married now, were you virgins before you got married? Boy, stop. <laughs> I'm just asking because it's going to go into this conversation. <laughs> Sunday on mute. <laughs> Sunday said he can't do talking, it. Talking to himself. Man, I'm like, why he bring that up? <laughs> but you you, you did, bro. He trying to get some messed up. That's old stuff, man. <laughs> You did it in your opening, bro. You mentioned shacking up before marriage. You then brought in the spirituality side of it or religious side of it. So this is real conversation because we're going to talk about partners. We're going to talk about getting married the way biblically it says we should do. But, you know, you have to ask yourself, 
were we biblical when up until uh, were we biblical before we got married? Are we biblical now because we are married? And then right. living together becomes an issue. I'm just throwing it out there. You know, I, I, I hate to uh, throw my man a Sunday out there like this, but I remember he and I having a conversation. Yeah. And he didn't know that fornication was a sin. Nope. So I remember us being young. I, yeah, we were young. You know what I mean? And, um, and I told him, I said, well, if it's certain things that you don't know, God doesn't hold you accountable for those things you don't know. But if you know that you're doing something that's wrong and it's unrighteous, then you know you're going to be held accountable for it. I remember us having that conversation. He was like, man, why you tell me that? I didn't know that fornication was a sin. Now I know. So I know for a fact I'm going to be held accountable. Were y'all 12 when you were having this conversation about not maybe, knowing having sex? Maybe like 14, 15, but okay, I remember I that conversation to this day. I remember that conversation. And, oh, and okay. I was upset that we had that conversation <laughs> because I, you know, you don't want to, you're doing something wrong. You don't want to be, you know, confronted or corrected or you don't want to know that, you, you know, who wants to know that? Especially yeah. after you go out there and try and test the waters or you haven't tested the waters yet. You know what I mean? So testing the waters for our fans. And as far as having sex before having marriage. Sex. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah. but uh, every, life is a learning experience is what I would say. What I, my stance on it is it's better to be married. You know what I'm saying? From so many different views, it's better to be married. Um, you know, you look at it from a religious standpoint, every religion talks about it. So it's got to be something that maybe we should adhere and listen to. You know what I'm saying? Judaism, Christianity, Islam, Buddhists, they all say the same. <laughs> they all say the same thing. So maybe we, we need to like, you know, pay attention to what they're saying. But also look at the money involved, because I'm, 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 I, I like to hold on to the cash, man. I don't want to divide that with a side piece. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm just... <laughs> Not doing it. All right, I'm all right, all right. I gotta keep my money in my pocket. All right, fellas. And it costs to cheat. I always right. I'm always at the yeah. other side of this conversation. Again, it goes back to you're married now and you say all that. But when you was hitting it in the streets, it was a different conversation. So, you know, at what point does this whole spiritual thing and da 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 take place? I mean See, well, with me and my wife, we we didn't like, you know, engage, you know, or, or tried heavily not to engage in those, in those activities, you know, <laughs> and wait, what we, what we, what we really decided to do, we, we actually stepped over that and we, we engaged in that activity. And then we were like, you know what, we're going to fall back and wait so that we can be blessed so that, you know, we could hopefully just kind of like annul, you know what I'm saying? But also just to dig into yourself, and find out who we are individually before coming together. So, and and the ones before your wife. Oh, no, them. Hey, man, come on, wife. Baby. 